Let me ask you, just between us and all the people listening, Dad had any phone calls lately? Who's he trying to get? Because he won't tell us. Can you? He's trying to um, get Lindor to play for seven more years. <laughs> the best one on that phone. Do it to the count. Yeah, okay. We better not talk anymore, Brody. <laughs> Folks, we have finally had a scoop on the Indians radio network. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we know the reporters oh, are getting man. younger these days, uh, but to have you. a six-year-old scoop uh, the entire uh, clubhouse for the Indians reporters there is pretty impressive. Be careful what you ask for, because you might get the answer, right? And uh, you could see, you could sense in the booth they were probably nervous, like, oh, we're not supposed to know this right now. We were just... Put that out there over the over the airwaves. Uh, Allison Footer, MLB.com national <laughs> correspondent, joins us now. And Allison, uh, what was your reaction when you heard that sound and that six-year-old reporter scooping any of the Indians reporters? I loved it. Um, this is not like it's some big revelation or some huge secret that nobody can know that the Indians want Francisco Lindor to be with them for the majority, if not all of his career. Um, so yeah, you do, <laughs> you run the risk as kids, you know, that age and, and even a little bit older, they can't differentiate between what is appropriate and what's not appropriate this time. Um, so I, I thought it was cute. It was funny. I mean, everybody ran with it. And, um, you know, the fact that they're trying to talk to him about a contract extension is, is pretty standard, I would think. And, uh, and I hope they get it done. I hope he does stay in an Indian uniform. But yeah, I'm sure that, uh, that the kid's dad was not terribly happy about it, but it's one of those things he's talking up and laugh at it and not worry too much that it was some, you know, it's not like he strained a, you know, he's got like some kind of massive injury that could possibly end his career. It was just a, it's contract extensions. Happy. Everybody should be happy about that. It was funny. There was a little bit of foreshadowing to him giving up that information when they were asking about Edwin Encarnacion. They're like, well, Brody, you wanted him here, right? And he was like, well, dad was up till 2 a.m. on the phone conversations <laughs> to get that contract done. And it was kind of like, whoa, this kid's got some uh, intel. So yeah. the fact that that slipped out on Lindor was pretty, pretty interesting. Kids say the darndest things, huh? So funny. The, uh, the fact that they got that answer from him probably should have tipped them off. Yeah. And yes. the broadcasters, the Indians broadcasters, I think, you know, they were laughing and they were like, oh. but you could hear and their voices were like, oh my God, we should not have started this line of conversation. Um, so, you know, they're club employees and they're probably the last ones that should be trying to goad something from this child. Um, but I think it will be all smoothed over at some point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, I think Brody has been banned from the uh, Indians press box in, in clubhouse maybe uh, was speaking with reporters or maybe he gives life. press conferences now you never maybe know. he's the guy hey. they put up on the podium like, you never know Brody got anything to say 